Wow. Oh my gosh. So we got Justice here. I'm a professional dancer and content creator. She dances. She's I awesome. Dance <laughs> so um, you've seen a chiropractor before. Yes, you've I never have. been here. Mm -hmm. um, what can I help you with? Um, so I just need some adjustment because my body's been really, really tight. Um, I start rehearsal soon, so I'm kind of just trying to get my body back into a flow. Yeah, yeah. Good and stuff. Is there any like specific area that like bothers um, you a lot? I feel like definitely like my lower back and okay. my neck. I feel okay. like I'm constantly like with my neck. So you're constantly like cracking and stuff. Yeah. Do you get headaches? Yeah, I definitely get headaches. Where are the headaches at? Like the back of my neck. Like okay. you know, like here. Both sides. Um, more on this side. Okay. So just checking the reflexes, seeing uh, if there's anything fishy going on. Okay, that's a pretty good response right there. If I hit the quad tendon and this flips up, which it's not, that could be a little bit more alarming. No dance injuries? Um, I have stress fractures in my feet, but no, like major, I've been blessed. A lot of people, they get injured really, really young, but. Oh yeah. Whenever someone comes with scoliosis, I'm like, did you dance? <laughs> it's like most of the time, it's like, yeah. So these are your scalenes. Um, they're the front neck muscles. And they actually kind of do a lot when we breathe. Mm. And you don't actually want to be using these muscles when you breathe. I'm sure you know through dance, you're supposed to be breathing through your diaphragm, mm -hmm. through your stomach muscles. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when we get lazy, we <laughs> start to chest breathe and we use these a lot. And sometimes they just, they just need to be stretched out a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to check that spot on the right. Yep. Feel that right there? I absolutely feel that. What does that feel like? Does it feel... Um, it feels like a knot right in the back. Oh, yeah. Does it feel dull, achy, sharp? It feels sharp. Like, okay. I can feel it right here in the front of my head, too. Like. So again, I'm pressing, I'm pressing right here mm -hmm. in her neck. And she can feel it right here. I get this all the time. People come in, they, they got headaches. They're, they're taking Advil, they're taking ibuprofen every day. And you know, yeah. sometimes you just need some intense pressure in a certain spot. So instead of kind of coming in with a bunch of lotion and trying to strip it out, I'm just gonna pin it against the bone and just push it in until it squeezes away. So now, you know, after, after all that, I like to take a gentle tissue pull and just kind of move it, move some things around. It feels pretty good. I'm actually going to bring your head over like that. Yeah. This is called MRT. It basically just pinning down a spot in the muscle and then stretching it. Because this muscle is tight rather than tense. You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. I'm like I've seen a lot of chiropractors, but this is great. Yeah, you know, I like to. I feel like I, you actually know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so you said you have like a little bit of low back stuff, right? Yeah, for sure. I so is it like is it like both sides? Yes. Okay, and is it like down here, up here, down here? What are you talking about? It's like literally right at the base of my back. Okay. When I push down like this, does that feel good? Mm-hmm. Okay. And when I push forward like this, does that feel good? Yeah, it pinches a little bit. Yeah, so the other one's better, right? Yeah. Okay. So that means that we want to open things up here. So there's not a lot of movement in that SI joint right here. So go ahead and just relax here. Let your leg just fall. I'm just going to give you a little pull. Wow. Good. So now we recheck. A lot of movement right in there. I know you guys can't really see, but there's a little bit of increased muscle tonicity right in here. Rib cage is a little flared out right in here. So what I'm going to do is put this wedge under here. Just go and lay on it. Let all this relax. I'm just going to kind of bring her in. So now I'm going to put you on both of these wedges. Lift, down, lift, down. Does that feel good? Mm 
Does it feel like it relieves pressure on your low back? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. So that's that, that that's that like little test that I do in the beginning when when I when I push down on her sacrum, she said it felt good. So when I put these wedges here, it pulls the sacrum back. So should feel good. <laughs> taking pressure off the low back. Now I can work on some of these muscles in here. So I'm gonna get right in right in this QL here. So my, my whole philosophy is like I don't I don't like to just only do muscle stuff or only do cracking. There's like it's like a puzzle to me. Yeah. For whatever reason, whenever I like touch someone, I, I there's something that pops out right away. And yeah. to me it's like, okay, I need to get that first. Yeah. Um and then, you know, this muscle popped out to me. I want to relieve it first. And it, it'll allow for a way better adjustment. Okay, so now I'm just going to use this little percussion gun. Loosen up some of the joints. So we worked on the muscle here. This vibration kind of gets deeper into the joints. And we're just trying to warm everything up. So we're following the sacrum all the way down here. Kind of getting in that iliac crest area here. I'm only speaking for people who know what that means. Yes, I had to learn all of this in kinesiology. Oh, what? <laughs> yes. Why, you left that out? You you majored in kinesiology or what? Well, because I was a dance major. We had oh, to, okay. We had to learn how to take care of our bodies. Yeah. Know, we made us take like a year of kinesiology and we had to take like anatomy and shit. That's sick. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mix the vibration with just a little bit of balancing here, just to make sure we're getting we're getting um, deeper in the joints, get everything warmed up. She's a dancer, so yeah. she's very flexible. But whenever there's something that's really flexible, something else has to make up for it. So there's gonna be some areas that are really oh, tight. That's, yeah. So I wanna get in, in the joints up in this upper back. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm kinda, let me show you on route. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook on here and push it down so that these, these bones in here kinda just open up, open up, open up. So we can get some vibration deep down into the joint. So hooking on opening that spot up and then just get some vibration in there so in my in my mind everything is reset muscle wise down here so I now I can really go in and feel what's going on in the joint how's sleep good or bad terrible Okay, whenever I hear that, I look right at the sacrum. So her sacrum on the right is very stuck. It's not moving at all. And whenever I see that, it's so weird. Up on the same side, occiput, like right here under the skull, that's also where there's gonna be a lot of tension. And we definitely already worked on that spot. So we're gonna open that spot up a little bit more. Beautiful. Right, bend here. And just get comfy up here, rest your head back, do what you gotta do. So we're going pretty high up here at L1. Perfect. Good. So we're gonna um, we're gonna work on our hip flexors a little bit. Dancers are known to have tight hip flexors. So I'm gonna get in here and just figure out which one I need to work on. Usually there's only one, but sometimes if you're lucky, both sides are really tight. This, I feel like this one's a little more tight. So we're pinning and stretching the muscle. So her hip flex, your hip flexors actually go up and attach to the front part of your low back. So I gotta go all the way up. It's okay. If you're ticklish, it makes it like 10 times worse. It's just painful. I know. 
You're doing great though. Does this uh, does this pop a lot? Yeah. This hit? Okay. That's actually a sign of instability or an old injury. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Really? That's nuts. Yeah. Those ones don't usually do much, you know, just feels kind of good. That was but great though. Th yeah, there's not going to be any like long term pain relief or anything like that. Just drop your head in my hands, relax to this left shoulder. Wow. Perfect. A little higher on this left side. Drop your head. You're so good at relaxing. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Does that feel good right there? Mm -hmm. Just let your shoulders relax. Perfect. Sweet. How do you feel? I feel like a new person. Great. <laughs> I'm okay, so, shock. so like 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 we talked about, mm -hmm. if you do want to like start working on things, the name of the game is Stretching the front. So here, just just mirror me. Mm -hmm. Hand on here. Pull down. Pull down. Lift up and away. Mm. And you'll feel that stretch here. Mm -hmm. And what I want you to do is feel the stretch and take a big breath in. You'll feel the stretch even more. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, just yeah. I'm not gonna tell you to do this every day. Yeah. But whenever you think about it, just do it. You know? Yeah. It's not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Other side. And then same thing. Just just do like a little a little pec stretch. You know, you can go against the door, oh go like this, just stretch the front, and we want to strengthen the back. I'm sure you already know how to strengthen the back. Yeah. Um, and for your hip flexors, uh -huh. you know, they're going to be pretty tight all the time. Yeah, just stretching. Just, I, I wouldn't, okay, I'm not, I'm not a huge advocate of stretching everything, mm -hmm. but strengthening the opposites, mm -hmm. glutes, core, lower abs, yeah. all that kind of stuff is going to be great. All right, you got any questions? No, I just feel like a new person. I'm excited. I'm so glad. So you're gonna feel you're gonna feel a little tired, a little dazed today. Okay. Um, tomorrow you might feel a little sore, but yeah, hundred percent of the time it goes away. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so Good much. Good job. No problem. Thank you. Sweet.